trapezoidal rule problems. Evaluate integral over minus 3 to 3 x power 4 dx using trapezoidal rule and verify your results by actual integration. Let's now proceed with the solution. We know that integral over a to b f of x dx is a definite integral where a is the lower limit, b is the upper limit and f of x is the integrand. So here we have f of x equal to x power 4 and the interval a comma b is minus 3 comma 3 that is a is equal to minus 3 and b is equal to 3. We know that h is equal to b minus a by n. That is the first step is to find the value of h so that we can tabulate the values. So substituting the values we get h as b minus a. Therefore we have 3 minus of minus 3 by n. As the number of intervals n is not specified in the problem choosing n is equal to 6 we get h is equal to 1. That is we divide the interval minus 3 comma 3 into 6 equal intervals of width h is equal to 1 and form this table. Therefore the various x values will be minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. That is starting with the lower limit minus 3 and taking h is equal to 1 we have to write the x values till the upper limit. So when x is equal to minus 3 we get f of x is equal to minus 3 power 4 which is 81 which is nothing but y not value. Similarly when x is equal to minus 2 we get 16 as f of x which is denoted as y1 and etc. By trapezoidal rule we have integral over x0 to xn f of x dx equal to h by 2 into y0 plus yn plus 2 into y1 plus y2 plus etc plus yn minus 1. Therefore integral over minus 3 to 3 x power 4 dx is equal to h by 2 y0 plus y6 here yn is y6 plus 2 into y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus y4 plus y5. Therefore, substituting the values we get 1 by 2 into y0 plus y6 y0 plus y6 plus 2 into y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus y4 plus y5. This gives us the answer as 1, 1, 5 or simplification. And now by actual integration we get integral over minus 3 to 3 x power 4 dx is equal to x power 5 by 5 over the limits minus 3 to 3 which will give you the answer as 97.2. So by trapezoidal rule our answer is 1 and 5 and by actual integration we get 97.2. Note that if we had taken n is equal to 12 instead of n is equal to 6 then h value will be 6 by 12 therefore it is 0.5 in which case we could have obtained an answer nearer to the exact answer hence 
we can say that the accuracy of the result can be improved by increasing the number of intervals and decreasing the value of h. Let's now proceed with the next problem. Evaluate integral over 0 to 1 dx by 1 plus x square using trapezoidal rule with h is equal to 0 0.2. Let's now proceed with the solution. Given f of x is equal to 1 by 1 plus x square and h is equal to 0 0.2. That is h is specified in the problem itself. Now taking h is equal to 0 0.2 let's now tabulate the values. So the various x values will be 0 start with the lower limit 0 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8 it goes up to the upper limit 1. Now when x is equal to 0 f of x will be 1 by 1 plus 0. So which is 1. This is here y naught. Similarly, when x is equal to 0.2, y of x or y equal to f of x will be 1 by 1 plus 0.2 square which is 0.9615. Similarly, we get 0 0.8621, 0 0.7353. 0 0.6098 and this is 0 0.5. So the first value under y is y0, second value is y1, y2, y3, y4, y5. So by trapezoidal rule we have integral over 0 to 1 dx by 1 plus x square is equal to h by 2 into y0 plus y5 that is sum of the first and last ordinates plus 2 into sum of the remaining ordinates. Now substituting these values in the formula and simplifying we get the answer as 0 